Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. Glenn Tompkins here, and guess what? The market is rocketing off the bottom today. Is that good news? Of course it's good news. But let me show you what potentially could be going on, what has happened, and how VectorVest had your goals in mind to help you to make some money. So if you're interested in what we had to say, now you can see it, and what you do now, uh, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Always love bringing these videos to your attention. Big move to the market to the upside today. Nice strong move. And could this be the potential blast off phase for coming off of a potential market bottom? Could be. Let me show you what VectorVest has to say about it. Brand new to the channel, by all means, please hit that subscribe button. If you continue to like the content that we put out for you between Patrick and myself and other people here on this channel, folks, hit that like button. And um, more so than anything, I want you to hit that bell icon to be alerted to when new videos like this come out. And let me hear your comments. What do you think is going on in the market? All right, so we're going to spend all of our time in the VectorVest software today. Here's the market. What you're looking at here is what we call the VVC or vector vest composite. It is an indicator that tracks 9,000, over 9,000 stocks and it's shown here in candlesticks. We feel that this is a better representation of the broad market move. And we can see when the market's going up, when the market's going down. And then we also have indicators that denote when a market is looking for a top and when the market is looking for a bottom. I don't know who else has got that kind of information for you like we do. So here's the most recent high happened on 11-9 of 2021. We've got an indicator called the MTI or market timing indicator, which is cast on a scale between zero and two. When this indicator, the MTI, gets to a value of 1.5 to 1.6, the market is starting to look for a top. Look on 11.9, look at that MTI, 1.53. So it was in the range of looking for a market top. What did the market do? It pulled back, it tried to run back up to get back to that level of the high, but never took it out. So officially, over the last couple of months or so, that was the official high of the market before it fell. Now, let's talk about market timing. Many of you don't believe that market timing is real. We do. We look at the overall market and from a market timing perspective can let you know what's going on in the market. It is not an indicator to predict which way the market is going to go, but we are trend followers. We follow the trends and we relay that information over to our subscribers to let them know what's going on. I'm going to take off a couple of lines here. All right. Take that off. Take that off. And we're going to strictly just look at the price movement of the vector vest composite. Again, hits a high. MT eyes at that level. Pulls back, starts to run up again. Now you'll notice some red and green arrows. This is our market timing signal known as the primary wave. It is the fastest market timing indicator we have. Because it's a fast indicator, it will generate more signals, thus you will be more susceptible to whipsaws. But interesting, look at the first down call after the high. Folks, that was a preliminary indication that the market was going to go down. The market went up, the market went back down again, it went up, and then finally, the last primary wave call was on 1118. Folks, was that a good call for the most aggressive person to get out of the market prior to all of the heartache that you had to encounter right here? Absolutely. Now, that was the fastest indicator. It stayed that way while the market was running down. The market hasn't changed or the indicator hasn't changed, but today it may. The primary wave should close to the upside today, and that is a preliminary indication that coming off of this so-called bottom, the market could be in blast-off phase. Big open candle today, very little wick at the top, gapped up, still moving higher. This price is higher than it was five days ago, thus initiating a primary wave up for the most aggressive trader. Now, if you're a little bit more conservative, we have a couple of other timing signals that probably haven't hit yet. But if you are more aggressive, you're looking at this, licking your chops, saying, holy smokes, this could be blast off phase. And look at that, four days, four days where the market consolidated, finally blasting up, 
This is the timely information you need to know. Now, keeping all of that in mind, if this is blast off phase, we've put out two great videos down below in the description that got you prepared for this. Steve Chappell did a special presentation last Friday, which talked about bottom fishing. Patrick France did a video on YouTube yesterday to help you to find some good stocks to look at from a bottom perspective from a bottom fishing perspective. And guess what? Later on in this week, I think that I'm gonna put out another low dollar, high potential video about other stocks to take advantage of right now. Folks, we're here on your side to help you make as much money as you can looking at markets conditions and playing the markets at the right time to increase your profitability. And that's what it's all about. So a big up today, and the market's moving higher, primary wave is going to be up. And folks, this could be a great opportunity. Now, am I going to tell you to back up the truck? Not at all. But I will tell you to be prepared. If you haven't prepared your watch list or your stocks for this po uh, possible opportunity, you need to do so now. So take all of that with a grain of salt. Let the market come to you. Do not try to outguess the market and you're going to do well. Folks, this video is over. Had to let you know what's going on today and how that could affect your trading and what it's time for you to do. So until the next time, folks, see ya.